All right. This is my Jackson Soloist from like 1990 something. I want to say 98, maybe a little sooner. This is the guitar I traded my Ernie Ball Wolfgang guitar that I bought and played it. Didn't like the feel of the naked maple. Didn't like that I had paid $129 for a pawn shop guitar and switched the pickup in it. And it sounded as good, if not better, definitely played better than the $1,300 guitar that I bought at the time so really the internet was out back then and there was a place in st louis that was trading and i offered them my wolfgang for this plus two hundred dollars so essentially i paid fifteen hundred for it but really i was just getting out of the wolfgang for two hundred bucks and this thing literally plays itself. The action out of the box, it's super light, super thin, the pickups in it, never touched anything. I haven't done anything to this guitar. It was just perfect the way it came. The action, the feel of the neck, the compound radius, um, absolutely made me as the crappy beginner guitar player I was, sound a little bit better than I was. Um, story behind this, it's the first day I got it, I got it out of the box, uh, the first time I changed the strings, I tightened this too much and snapped the saddle. The first week I got the damn thing, man was I pissed. So I had to scour around the local music shop to see if anybody sold just a single saddle as opposed to the whole damn friggin Floyd Rose only one place did it it was Earcraft Music at the time in Dover New Hampshire and they didn't have any black ones so I said screw it I'll take that one and that's why that has been there since that time and since that time, I don't try to over tighten these at all. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, other than Old Blue, this is my outmost favorite guitar, other than, than my new gym. And, uh, this doesn't have the FU Tone Flow Block on it. I think if anything I might do to this is probably that. Other than that, I'm not touching this thing. It's just out of the box, original, except for the screw up I had there. It literally, like I said, plays itself. Um, always wanted a Jackson. Um, only thing I'd probably wish it had was the reverse neck. But hey, I'm not going to argue. I was totally astounded how this sounded compared to the Old Blue or the Wolfgang that I bought. It was by far a, the best trade I ever made because, uh, yeah, and like, like I said, I, I didn't like the Wolfgang at all. Didn't like it. Didn't like the way it felt. Didn't like it sounded. It was heavy. Uh, just, just didn't like it. This, on the other hand, was fantastic I mean you can like look at the reach you can get up there no problem no buzzing super jumbo frets excellent craftsmanship um, can't say enough about this guitar um, and it just sounds amazing I never wanted to change the pickups I really never ever used these they sound okay uh, but you get the the, uh, the SH4 JB Junior that came stock. So there was really, and at the time before I got into the Stonewall pickups, this was the pickup I would copy. And if I got a cheap guitar, I would take this and put it in the other guitar, which I'll show you in the next guitar. I would just 
by a Seymour Duncan JB SH4 or whatever the hell you want to call it and put it in a guitar so that I could get it to sound like this one and it did um, playability didn't play as nice as this um, but I don't know what it is that they did whether it's because it's the through neck or what but I mean once you tune this it's just boom it just stays forever I like this is out of the box still in tune I haven't played this in friggin a year I just I keep it in there and I play my other ones because I beat on those um, comes out on rare occasions but it just it, my baby <laughs>